Hi and good day. Exercise is a very important thing when it comes to all kinds of rehabilitation of the spine. Herniated disc, bulging disc, spinal degeneration, pelvic tilts, anterior posterior, weak core, the weak pedal foundation, whatever it may be in your body. But there is an exercise quite commonly used among the world. It's called the deadlift. Questions come in by the dozens. Is deadlifts good for my back? Is it good to help rehabilitate my back problem? I need to talk about the biomechanics of the spine, the cons and pros to give you a better understanding about deadlifts. First, let's talk about the anatomy of the spine, some simple biomechanics. This is the lumbar spine, normal lordosis, outward thoracic kyphosis, inward cervical lordosis. Should look like an S from the side. Deadlift entails the spine to move forward like this. So as you move forward, you have lots of biomechanical changes occurring at the disc level in the posterior facets around the nerves, the muscles, the core. But for our perspective here, I want you to understand that the biggest problem that I have with deadlifts is form. And half the people who do these do not do them correctly. And even if you're not doing them correctly, you may not be experiencing any symptoms in the early phases. Now just sitting down from a standing position, the spine has a tendency to rock backwards. As it rock backwards, the lumbar curve is now straightened or possibly reversed. The load upon the disc structures, primarily at the L3, which is the center of the lumbar spine, becomes excessively loaded. Up to 150, 175 pounds of intradiscal stress to that area. Now as we sit down with a posterior pelvis leaning forward, we get more stress, up to 250 pounds of pressure in that middle part of that lumbar region. This is from Nakamson. Now standing up and leaning forward, again, as the posterior uh, segments of the spine fan out, loading more pressure on the disc because the upper torso, being two thirds of your weight, is now accumulating more as you go further away from the center of gravity increasing the load of those discs by over 200 pounds. The question here is that even though the ligaments, muscles may be strong enough to withstand that motion, and as you increase more load, obviously the muscles are going to get stronger, but as a cartilaginous area of a disc of the annular fibrosis, the nucleus pulposus inside the disc, these particular structures, mainly avascular structures at our age, these structures work by diffusion, by getting nutrients and oxygen into the involved area to, to allow it to stay healthy. But realize that as the accumulation of these annular fibers continue to weaken, which is silent because there's no nerve irritation or compression or any symptoms at this time, the degenerative process continues to become silent, like heart disease cancer, or even diabetes. So I want to go back to the other route that realize that deadlifts are extremely healthy for the muscles. They significantly strengthen the core, the lower rectus spinae musculature, the hamstrings, even muscles in the mid thoracic, even the upper trap muscles. There are many assets towards deadlifting. The problem that I have is that Form is extremely important. The accumulation of stresses of how much load is important. There are many factors to take into consideration that just because you're doing an exercise doesn't mean that exercise is going to be right for you. Leave your questions below. If you have any, I'm sure you will. Again, I hope this might have answered some of your questions, but realize disc degeneration is a silent type of disease. When that disc continues to degenerate so much, the vertebrae will come closer together, making the holes where the nerves come out smaller, potentially irritating those nerves, causing compression and pinched nerves. Share this video if I ask you, please, and make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.